This has been going on all day. <laughs> all week. I just somehow forgot will the circle be unbroken. From the top. with the metronome yes i'm back on the metronome welcome back to 2000 hours of banjo uh what you heard there was uh the vast majority of what i've been working on for the past year plus there's a couple other songs that i'll i'll i'll, I'll give you a taste of as we go through um i can't recall where are we at uh, i did miss last weekend last weekend we had guests around we had a four-year-old running around, and it's the last thing I wanted to do was have like expensive equipment teetering on tripods for that four-year-old to go around and play with or knock over or break. So I, I skipped last week, and so we're at, I want to say, excuse me, I want to say we're at 235 hours, maybe? 235 hours? Anyway, so that's where we're at. Uh, we're chugging along pretty good. I think we'll hit 265 pretty soon, which is going to be a huge milestone. That would be the number of hours that I would have gotten had I played through the entire first year an hour a day every single day. And that'll give you a good taste of kind of how far behind I am when I hit that two, three, uh, 365 milestone. All right, what other songs am I working on? Well, I did, I was playing... Um, Actually, before I get into that, let's get into the two other songs that I've been working on, which is um, Wagon Wheel. Now, with Wagon Wheel, um, I have been playing, there's this part that goes, and if you see my fingers, I was really, I was really slanting them like this. My instructor did not like that, and he wanted me to upright them, like and really spread those fingers out and fret it upright like that, uh, which threw, <laughs> threw off the whole song. And again, I feel like I had to start learning it all over again, um, like so many times, but it honestly, I think it sounds clearer. If I can do a good rendition of it now, uh, you'll hear. Let's see if I can pull it off. around had some mistakes in it but that first time around it sounded really good it sounded a lot cleaner a lot clearer than I've been playing with my my fingers so severely slanted like that so um, good one on the instructor frustrating but sounds better so I'm happy with it the other one that I've been working on is man of constant sorrow
playing that <laughs> too, too fast for my skill level on that particular song. But the same parts that I've been having trouble with are the same parts that you heard me just now having trouble with. The other things that I've been working on is the, the vamping. Um, which is going great. <laughs> Perfect. That was perfect. So if you heard it and it didn't sound perfect, it's probably your speakers, maybe, or maybe not. Anyway, another drill that I've been working on, uh, per my instructor, is to get uh, that brain muscle connection to independent fingers on my left hand. So pluck, basically. Without, without doing the bouncing of the fingertips, just kind of do that. Pick a finger and lift it off the string. That was not the finger I picked, but I'll take it. That was the finger I picked. Anyway, that drill has been driving me nuts. Probably driving my wife nuts too, because it sounds awful. The other thing that I've been working on is Mike Heading's 10 versions of playing backup. Um, this was to Wagon Wheel. I did a little bit uh, in the intro. It's the one that goes. working on other parts of that. Um, If that wasn't hard enough, I'm also trying tackling the next section, which is I haven't gotten that section down on memory yet. Anyway, plugging along, pushing forward. Um, that's where I'm at now. Um, I think that's about it for today. Is there anything else I want to? Can't think of it. If I do think of it, I'll put it in the next video. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I've got some practicing to do. I'll see you in about 10 hours. All right, bye.